Now, as part of normal labor, let's discuss the stages of labor. Stage one, this is the onset of labor until 10 centimeters dilated. During stage one, contractions cause the cervix to change and they cause the, the fetus to descend into the pelvis. Phase one can be divided into two phases, the latent phase, which is the onset of contractions until four centimeters, and the active phase. This is from four centimeters to 10 centimeters dilated. Now, when we speak of cervical change, we're talking about cervical dilation, effacement, and station. Dilation refers to how open the external os of the cervix is. This is measured in centimeters, and we do this with a digital exam. And you can see here from the example, as we go from one centimeters to two centimeters to three centimeters, the external os is opening more. When we talk about effacement, we talk about how thick the cervix is. So in a, in a woman that's not pregnant, her cervix feels kind of like the tip of your nose. It's pretty thick. As labor progresses, the cervix starts to thin out and it starts to shorten. Now in a primogravital woman, the cervix will thin out more than it dilates, but for a mole tip, it's the opposite. The cervix will usually open a little bit and then starts to thin out. And then you can he see here at 10 centimeters, the cervix is fully, fully thinned out. We call that 100% effaced. Now when we say station, that means the, we're referring to the presenting part and relationship to the ischial spines of the mom. You can see here at the ischial spines, we call that zero station. One centimeter above is minus one station, two centimeters above is minus two. On the flip side, one centimeter down is plus one station, two centimeters down is plus two station. Now, we have some parameters that we consider to be normal for the first stage of labor. For a primiparous woman in latent labor, we expect that to last six to 11 hours. For our mole tip, we expect it to last four to eight hours. Now, for that active phase of labor for the primip woman, we expect her cervix to change 1.2 centimeters per hour. And then for the mole tip, 1.5 centimeters per hour is the norm. Now, moving on to stage two. Stage two of labor is from 10 centimeters dilated until the delivery of the infant. During stage two, the fetus is entering the pelvis through the cardinal movements of labor, which began in stage one and completed in stage two. So let's go through those cardinal movements of labor. First, we have engagement. This is when the head is starting to come into the pelvis. Then we have descent as the head goes down through the pelvis. Then we have flexion. And basically that's when the chin is tucked into the chest, internal rotation as the head starts to turn. Then we have extension as the head comes underneath the pubic symphysis. External rotation, the head is gonna return to the same plane that it was in prior to internal rotation. And then we have expulsion, which is delivery of the fetus. Now, if you're having a little trouble remembering these steps, I have a little, let's say, metaphor to help you remember. We can think of it like a wedding. First you get engaged, then you descend down the aisle, then you flex your head to pray, then you internally rotate as you turn to your new spouse, then you extend as you lift your head up to, for the kiss, then you have external rotation as you turn back towards the congregation, and then expulsion as you walk down the aisle. I hope that little tidbit helps you remember these movements. Now for stage two, what's considered our norm? So for a prime up with an epidural, three hours, a mole tip with an epidural, two hours, prime hip without an epidural, two hours, and a mole tip without an epidural, one hour. So these are our norms that we expect for how long it takes for mom pushing in stage two of labor. Now stage three of labor. This is from delivery of the infant until delivery of the placenta. To deliver the placenta, we have gentle downward traction on the umbilical cord, while the other hand puts gentle traction on the uterus. In the normal setting, we expect the placenta to deliver within 30 minutes.